Hello and welcome back to an online lesson with Sunshine School. My name is Pete and this is another grammar lesson today. Last week we discussed personal pronouns and this week we are going to discuss possessive pronouns. There are a lot of things to go through today, so let's get started. Take a look at this situation here. We can see that Tom, the small boy with brown hair, is wearing a big jumper. And Jack, the tall boy with blonde hair, is wearing a small jumper. Can you see the problem? They are wearing the wrong jumpers. The yellow jumper belongs to Tom and the red jumper belongs to Jack. Let's take a look at their conversation. This isn't my jumper, it's your jumper. This jumper isn't mine, it's yours. That's my jumper. Take a look at the words highlighted in red. These are examples of possessive pronouns. So whose jumper is this? The yellow jumper. It's Tom's. It's Tom's jumper. How about the red jumper? Is this Tom's jumper? No, it's not. It's Jack's. It's Jack's jumper. Let's look at this in more detail. Let's take the sentence, this is my car. My is the possessive adjective. And a possessive adjective is always followed by a noun, the car. This is my car. However, when we use a possessive pronoun, the word mine, we do not follow that with a noun. It's mine. So we'll take a look one more time. This is my car. It's mine. We don't say it's mine car. Here are some more examples for you to cover first person singulars, second person singulars, third person singulars, and then plurals as well. So the first person singular, it's my motorcycle, becomes it's mine. Second person singular, here's your jacket, here's yours. Third person singular, that's his room, that's his. The dog's got its food. It's hers. It's her money. It's hers. Let's look at some plurals. The first person plural. That's our couch. That's ours. Second person plural. Are these your tickets? Are these yours? The third person plural. It's their camera. It's theirs. Here is another good example of the importance of ending sounds. Notice that almost all of these finish with the S sound. Make sure to remember your ending sounds here. Here is a table to show you how these words differ depending on if they are used as personal pronouns referring to subjects or objects or possessive adjectives or possessive pronouns. So let's go through these together. I, me, my, mine. You, your, and yours. He, him, and his. She, her, and hers. It, and its. We, us, our, and ours. You, your, and yours. They, them, their, and theirs. Let's take a look at some different examples to show the possessive. This is Jack's lantern. To show that the lantern belongs to Jack, we add an apostrophe S after Jack. This is Jack's lantern. They are the cook's hats. 
Because cooks is plural and ends with the letter S already, we simply add an apostrophe after the letter S. They are the cooks' hats. They are women's coats. Women is a plural already, but it is irregular, so it does not end with the letter S. Here we add an apostrophe S to show the possessive. They are women's coats. This is Jack and Mary's computer. There is one computer that belongs to both Jack and Mary. So we add one apostrophe S after Jack and Mary. These are Jack's and Mary's computers. Here there are two computers. One belongs to Jack and one belongs to Mary. So we add an apostrophe S after both Jack and Mary. These are Jack's and Mary's computers. When showing the possessive with objects or things, we do not use the apostrophe S. We use the word of. For example, the floor of the bathroom. We don't say the bathroom's floor. We can also use of with people. For example, she is a friend of mine, or she is a friend of his, or hers, or ours, or yours, or theirs. Let's test our knowledge with an exercise. Complete the sentences with either a possessive adjective or a possessive pronoun. Pause the video, take your time, and then we'll go through it. So let's have a look together. I am Tom. My home is in Toronto. This is Jane. Look at her new dress. It's fantastic. You and Robbie have got bikes. These are your bikes. You are good boys. These toys are yours. We have got a car. Our car is new and expensive. They like sweets. These sweets are theirs. Here are some more sentences for you. Once again, pause the video, take your time, and we'll go through them together. So if you're ready, let's take a look. Your car is broken. Please take mine. Mum and I cook something every day. Dad loves our dishes. Meg and Sue are going to the party. Their dresses are nice. I can't draw well. My pictures are awful. This isn't Jack's hat. His hat is blue. Bella has two hamsters. Her pets are funny. Lastly, simply circle the correct choice. One more time, pause the video, take your time, and then we'll take a look together. So let's go through it. My friend's name is Mike. Apostrophe S. Friends. This is the cat's bowl. Apostrophe S to show possessive. The cat's bowl. Our children's art teacher is Ms. Claire. Apostrophe S. Children is a plural, but it is irregular, so we add the apostrophe S. Look at Philip's and Lucy's new cameras. Cameras is plural, which says there is more than one. One belongs to Philip and one belongs to Lucy. Philip's and Lucy's cameras. Look at the leaves of the tree. We use of to show the possessive of an object, the tree. The leaves of the tree. He is a friend of hers. These are the girls' bikes. Girls is a plural. It ends with the letter S. We add the apostrophe after the letter S. My cousin's car is blue. Apostrophe S to show the possessive. The car belongs 
to his cousin. So hopefully you enjoyed our lesson today. Join us next time where we will have another grammar lesson for you. Bye bye.